Number three, don't steal, is the third violation of the rules that Sergey and I found when we wrote Biblical Economic Policy. It's number eight on Moses' list of commandments, and it reads, don't steal. So Sergey and I stole that one from him, and it became one of our 10 Biblical Commandments of Economics. Forcing people to work without pay steals their labor. Forcing companies to pay without receiving work is also stealing. So randomly deciding that a company must pay for 40 hours and receive 32 hours of labor is theft of eight hours of pay. That's a violation of the Eighth Commandment. Socialists always make this assumption that demanders of labor have power over suppliers. Of course, this depends on the relative supply-demand relationship of labor. The best thing you can do for suppliers of labor is to adopt policies that increase demand. During the Trump administration, black and Hispanic unemployment fell to record lows. This moved power from companies who demanded the labor and gave that power to employees who supplied the labor. So, so the answer is very simple in economics. If you want labor to have power, adopt policies that promote production. President Trump gave power to workers via freedom. The California legislature is trying to give them power via power. That never works out well in the end.